Hey, the Gadget Man here with nothing but gadgets, and today I'm going to be showing you this D5 mini Wi Fi camera. So, three, two, one, let's get at it. All right, guys, this camera was sent to me for free to do this review, so that's what we're doing here. So, let's break it right out of the box. Okay, so here's what comes in the box we've got a little quick start guide, the camera. Uh, a little clip and this little mounting bracket with a sticky side on it and I believe it's magnetic yeah it just clips to the back of this thing here okay so let's go ahead and look at the little camera it is pretty lightweight um, has an SD card already installed on the bottom there's your charging data port right there it's got some LED lights around the lens got a on and off switch on this side and a reset button on this side and that is pretty much it uh, looks like it clips right into this little thing here and that's pretty flimsy there but um you know i guess you can put that on your pocket or something like that and then we got the little stand okay so let's talk about function all right there are no buttons on this device to take pictures or start the record with this is a mandatory thing you have to actually operate it via the mobile app okay the instructions are in the manual here on how to do that it's pretty simple it has a little qr code that you scan get the app download it you turn you turn this button on and it starts a little bitty wi-fi uh route like a little wi-fi connection you connect to the camera uh start the app and then you can control the camera with from within the app okay so you can start the record and stuff like that um, I did take it out and I did some testing with it that way and it does work I could shoot video and stuff with it, but there are a couple of downsides with that one The app must be running on the phone and the phone on the screen on in order for it to continue to record So you can't simply press record and then turn your phone screen off and let it let it record as soon it, the app must be open and awake in order for it to continue to take videos so as long as you want to shoot video you have to have your phone screen on and the app has to be set to record the instant that you turn your phone off uh, or turn the screen off the camera stops recording okay um the camera itself is um you know it says in here that you can connect this camera to your home wi-fi network and then you can control it remotely from somewhere else uh, and record but unfortunately uh, I tried a dozen times to accomplish the walkthrough steps in the manual and I could not get it to connect okay so there's a lot of work to be done with the app and how this thing functions essentially right now it's just a little on-demand camera which you can set and then you can click record and then you have to keep your phone on in order for it to continue to record so it's not actually a body camera it is not a body camera at all this is basically a table uh, camera that you can actually take video with on demand while your phone is active um, it is not a monitoring camera that you can set up and monitor it won't do any of that because it literally can only be controlled via the app there are no hardware buttons to control it with now let's talk about video quality all right, so I did take it out and I did some, I walked around with it and I took some video with it and I'm just going to throw a little montage of that, that video footage for you up here right now. Okay, so you saw that there, I uh, went out and I was in nature and I did some walking around and stuff. And 
that was set at the maximum quality, the highest quality the camera can take. The footage obviously is not very good at all. Very, very low quality footage. The color is off. It's very grainy. So we're not, it's not quality footage at all. Um, I did do a nighttime test with it. And in this case, it does not automatically turn the infrared lights on when it gets dark. You actually have to manually turn them on from within the app. Um, and so I did do a little test with it. And here's that test. Okay, so you see there, um, I was about maybe 20 feet away from that big white thing, which is actually a uh, propane tank at night. Um, and obviously the footage was really low quality, but you could kind of make out that there was something there. And uh, I had to get really close to it if you kind of tell what it was. Um, I'm not going to waste your time with this uh, a lot. It is not a very good little device. It's very uh, feels very cheaply made. Um, you cannot use this as a webcam. I tried that as well, connecting it to my computer. I couldn't get it to work that way. Um, and also, when I use the app to take pictures, it did not record the pictures. Uh, I don't know if this device is defective, but it may possibly be defective because actually on the SD card when I got it, there was actually footage of another person who was testing this camera out in their home. Um, it looks like they had sent this camera to somebody else. That person tested it out and sent it back. I got a used camera. So it could be that this camera is defective and had already been sent back. But um, that is all I really have to say about this camera. Not much good. Uh, if this is the true quality of this camera and this camera is not defective, uh, it's got a lot of problems. Uh, I would not buy this camera myself. And that is my recommendation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, this is the Gadget Man saying, I'll see you later.